सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अनादर लेक्चर वीडियो लेक्चर you'll be extremely clear extremely uh, like clear like with your clarity with your mentality everything will will solve all basic level questions will solve all advanced level questions will discuss all kind of formulas aapko bahar se koi question karne ki zarurat nahi hai i'll solve all the questions here so to do not if agar aap abhi tak subscribe nahi kiye ho do subscribe to this channel and i'm giving you 100% guarantee question will not going to come out from uh, like jitna concept mein padhane wala hu jitne sare formulas discuss karne wala hu wahan se bahar koi bhi for koi bhi question nahi aayega convolution se okay so this is the video lecture that i'm going to make this video lecture in this particular video lecture that you are watching here we'll going to discuss about all the basic fundamental ideas like book level ka thing jo aapke semester level ka ideas hai ideology hai in order to make you understand with convolution like uh, what is the convolution between two signal if you take x1 t and x2 t what how you'll going to calculate the convolution between two signals and uh, if you take a uh, response if you want to find out the response how the convolution is going to useful in the third point will get into how the convolution is obeying commutative associative and distributive property and the interconnection and the fourth point will get into interconnection of continuous time system how it is going to like convolution how it is obtaining uh, when you have different kind of systems is interconnected with each other and the next will get into the actual core concept of convolution ki step by step method how you need to do the convolution and in the fourth step we'll do a unit we need to do a very important calculation that is to find out unit step response So once you understand unit step response you can find out any kind of convolution okay now let's start with the first point that is convolution between two signals my dear friend do not skip a single video lecture from here because it, this journey is going to be very 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 powerful journey okay pehle hum log main main aapko bata deta hu kya hone wala hai हम लोग पहले बहुत ही अच्छे से कंटिन्यूस टाइम कन्वोल्यूशन खत्म करेंगे फिर उसके बाद डिस्क्रिट को जाएंगे और वहाँ से भी वैसे ही अच्छे से खत्म करेंगे बट फर्स्ट लेवल ऑफ एनालिसिस विल बी ऑन लाइक बुक लेवल एनालिसिस बुक लेवल माइन मीन्स फंडामेंटल एनालिसिस इट विल क्रिएट योर फंडामेंटल आइडियाज अगर आपको अभी तक तो कुछ कन्वोल्यूशन के बारे में आइडियाज है मैं चाहता हूँ वो सारे आइडियाज़ आप घर पर रख लो कहीं पर छुपा दो वो आइडियाज़ मैं नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि भूल जाओ पर वट वन एवर यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वेरी बेसिक लेवल आइडियाज ठीक है सो विल डिस्कस ऑन द वेरी बुक लेवल थिंग देन विल get into advanced level thing okay for engineering service and gate exams kind of zone okay in the second stage but abhi ek do video lecture abhi fundamental fundamental level ka hoga theek hai now let's see what is the fundamental idea uh, regarding convolution convolution word hota kya hai convolution baatein kya hoti hai kya hota hai convolution kyun ye daravna lagta hai kafi sare students ko ye abhi humko clarity milega see convolution between two signals if there is two signals simple ek ek continuous time domain ka ye ek signal hai and there is another signal signal which is like x to t so convolution between these two signal will be given as convolution between these two signals will be given as x3 t x3 t which is defined as which is defined as look here carefully look here carefully x1 tau x1 tau convolution 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 x2 tau i'm sorry x1 t convolution x2 t convolution if you do the convol this is your convolution operator and the convolution of this two this two signal is your x3 t now how to find out the convolution x1 tau into x2 t minus tau d tau 
का इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी सो आई एम आई टॉक अबाउट दिस लिमिट दिस लिमिट इज ओनली डिफाइंड ऑन दोज इंटरवल वेन दिस प्रोडक्ट दिस प्रोडक्ट दिस प्रोडक्ट विल गिव यू नॉन जीरो वैल्यूज विल गिवन टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस पॉइंट्स बट दिस इज योर फंडामेंटल थिंग कि क्या है ये कन्वोल्यूशन कन्वोल्यूशन क्या है कि दिस इज अ मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर कन्वोल्यूशन कॉन्सेप्ट ना विल कॉन्सेप्चुअली हम विल गेट इन टू दैट कन्वोल्यूशन थिंग बट दिस इज अ मैथमेटिकली दिस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन दिस वे कि वील कन्वोल्यूशन बातें होता क्या है यू यू नीड यू टेक टू काइंड ऑफ सिग्नल्स and we are discussing in continuous time domain you need to give two kind of signals and once you are finding out convolution of these two signals you will get another kind of signal okay now how why this is a mathematical format now convolution is useful in which case like, like convolution ka invention hua kyun ki kis jagah pe aapko zaruri hai it's a very good question now kis jagah pe zaruri hai listen to this carefully so we got a system here we got a system here and to this system we are giving input x of t and output that we are getting that is y of t clear 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 now we know we know the system is having impulse response that is h of t for example we have we have this system whose impulse response is h of t what is the meaning of impulse response when you are giving input as input when you are giving input as impulse input the corresponding response will be regarded as impulse response when you are giving a input as a unit step uh, function when you are giving a input as a unit step signal the corresponding response the corresponding response the corresponding response will be regarded as step response step response when your input is impulse your output will be regarded as impulse response when it is step it will be called as step response clear this point now uh, what is the concept is convolution is now now uh, we we got a system here we got a system here and system is having convolution uh, i'm sorry uh, system is having impulse responses h of t now how convolution will be useful by the help of convolution by the help of this mathematical analysis i can find out yt i can find out yt by taking convolution within xt and ht what sir ha xt convolution ht will going to give you ht will going to give you the response of the system that is the core concept of convolution इसीलिए कन्वोल्यूशन को ज़्यादातर यूज़ किया जाता है क्लियर है नौ चलो हम इसके बारे में ही डिस्कस करेंगे अभी लुक हेयर केयरफुली सो टू फाइंड आउट द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अ लीनियर टाइम इन वेरियंट कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिस्टम सर वाई एल टी सिस्टम अरे ये अच्छा हजबेंड है और अच्छा वाइफ है अच्छा सिस्टम है ये ठीक है ऑलवेज ऑलवेज वी प्रीफर लीनियर एंड टाइम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम ओके बिकॉज क्यों मैंने एक बहुत बड़े बड़े एपिसोड्स बना के आपको समझाया है सो एल टी आई कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिस्टम एन यू आर टेकिंग टू फाइंड आउट द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ एल टी आई कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिस्टम वाई टी विच इज़ द आउटपुट ऑफ द सिस्टम एक्स टी इज द इनपुट ऑफ द सिस्टम सो वाई टी इज द कन्वल्यूशन ऑफ एक्स टी एंड वाई टी clear where yt is given as yt is given as listen to this listen to this the thing that i've shared with you xt convolution h of t clear how it will be given as xt i'm sorry x of tau h of t minus tau d tau ka integration from interval minus infinity to infinity this integral i'll tell you about this integral this integral is actually not minus infinity to infinity i'm taking it we are taking it as minus infinity to infinity ye bol ke ki ki dekho 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 माइनस इन्फिनिटी से इन्फिनिटी लो देखो 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 माइनस इन्फिनिटी से इन्फिनिटी लो और उसके अंदर के इंटरवल को देखो ये टाइमलाइन है ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज योर टाइम लाइन देखो यहाँ पे माइनस इन्फिनिटी से इन्फिनिटी लो मतलब आप इसी के अंदर कोई इंटरवल ऐसा देखो जिस इंटरवल में दिस प्रोडक्ट दिस प्रोडक्ट दिस इंटीग्रेशन दिस प्रोडक्ट विल गिव यू नॉन जीरो वैल्यूज फिर आप वहाँ पे वो वो वैल्यू डाल देना टी वन से टी टू तक क्लियर दिस पॉइंट We'll get into that con that concept, but this is the actual overall basic idea of convolution. Now, <clears throat> moving on to the properties of convolution. Yes, convolution does obey commutative property. Convolution does obey con uh, commutative property, and and which is given as x one t convolution of x two t will be nothing but equals to x two t convolution of x one t. It also obeys the associative property that is x one t whole of convolution of x two t and x three t will be nothing but equals to the convolution of x one and x two will nothing but the whole convolution with the x three t. 
it also obeys distributive property and we know distributive property given as if x1 t is convolution if you are doing the convolution of x1 t with two independent signals additive term that is x1 t that is x2 t plus x3 t listen to this carefully that will be equals to that will be equals to that will be equals to x1 t listen to this convolution of x2 t okay plus x1 t convolution x3 t so these are the basic properties of a normal multiplication which is also followed by our convolution technique my dear friend there is a beautiful point which is associated with this thing i'm not going to um, describe those points here in this video lecture because we are going in a basic and fun fundamental level i think in the lecture number 45 or 46 i think 46 lecture number 46 will going to lead you a beautiful point which uh, which will uh, like like which is associated with this concept okay uh, this concept and with the interconnection of continuous time system okay interconnection of continuous time system leads us leads us to if you have two 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 systems which are connected with cascaded cascaded to each other connection is cas cascading connection is there then that it will be then there will be the total uh, response the total response that you will get the total response that you will get that will depend on the impulse response which will be convolution of this two impulse impulse responses okay this can be equivalent like this this circuit will be the equivalent circuit of this one similarly agar parallel structure hai this can be drawn in this way that will be the summation of h1t and h2t the summation of the impulse responses of each system will be your equivalent response that you will going to give clear this point we'll going to again we'll come back to this concept and we'll do discuss a very important point but that will be in a lecture number 46 or something okay the convolution hoga if it is cascade and if it is a parallel it will be plus clear with this concept